Okay, it's Thursday, 23rd of February, 2023. I'm here talking to, to Leon Davis. Leon, how are you doing, mate? Good yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Right, let's see if I've got your facts right. You're born 27th of November, 99. Yeah. Which means you're 23. 23, yeah. Born in Enfield? Yeah, born in Enfield, yeah. And who do you support? Who do I support? Yeah. Reading. Explain that one to me. Why would just. <laughs> my dad gave us you know, a proper membership when we were kids. Right. Brothers Tottenham, but um, yeah, my dad read in, so I just went with that. That's what I was speaking to see when I saw him feel that's going to be Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, probably a little bit growing up, but was able to watch Reading more, so. Right, okay. And look at the clubs that I could find. 2007 to 16, you were at Cambridge United. Yeah. You had a long spell at Bath City, or yeah. Bath, as we like to say. Bath, right? yeah. <laughs> um, and Weymouth. Yeah. Um, so let's start Cambridge. You must have been quite young when you joined. They were about 16, 17 or something. Joined Cambridge in terms of like the, you know, development program at about eight, yeah. and then I was there through till twenty two. So, wow. so yeah, signed a pro contract at seventeen, um, and then yeah, left, uh, got let go in twenty twenty two around December time. Went to Weymouth in that month in December, and then. Signed for South End to the end of last season. Right, okay. So that's we wanted at Cambridge then. So you you also went through the ranks, so you were progressing. So what from an early age, where were you playing? Were you playing defence, weed field, weed Yeah, ball? I mean I was fullback. Right. Um well in terms of like local, like before Cambridge it was obviously midfield. Everyone yeah. wants to be a defender at that age, so no. I obviously <laughs> went went for Cambridge and then progressed into a right back and yeah. then you know, dipped in at right mid now and then when I got a bit older, but yeah. you know, predominantly right back, yeah. Okay. Um, you made your first team day before, I mean, August 2016. Yeah. Got in the EFL trophy. Yeah. Against the Shrews. Against Shrewsbury, yeah. yeah. What was that like? Uh, it was a good moment. Um, I got, I got uh, introduced into the first team quite early. When yeah. I was 15, I got a text while I was in school saying that I was going to be on the bench. The new manager just came in, Sean Derry, and All right, yeah. I, I just played in the Youth Cup in the week, and he obviously came to watch us, and I did really well. So he wanted me on the bench that weekend, so I was on the bench. And then in my first year, obviously at 16, I was training with him a little bit, and then got told I was playing in the, in the first team in the trophy against Shrewsbury away, uh, starting, which was nerve-wracking, yeah. obviously, as you can imagine. but. So we won the game, got clean sheet as well, so it went really well actually. Oh, that's brilliant. So, did you get many chances for opportunities to play the first team? It was, uh, it was, <laughs> it was a tough, tough time there. I'd say it was mainly, you know, injuries. When there was an right. injury, I was always usually second choice. Yeah. Throughout my time there, so when the right back got injured, I was always, I always had great right backs ahead of me. So it was always difficult. And when you're a young lad coming through, it's always hard as well. Yeah. I didn't have enough loans. That's one thing I regret. I didn't have enough loans. You know, I didn't get exposure to men's football enough. I was obviously around it, but yeah. just sitting on the bench. So, you know, I, I had short spells here and there, but not enough. No. Yeah. But your loan spells, obviously, in this uh, this level, yeah. quite a way away from where you were. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. It was. What were those, what were those times like? Did you get many games there? Well, I went to Bath for a month, and as you can imagine, Bath to Cambridge was like three and a half hours, and yeah. I was driving to and from sometimes on a Tuesday or Thursday night. I think it was. I mean, they, they put me up in a hotel the first week. It was a great occasion. We played uh, Bath for third at the time. Torquay was second. No, top. Sorry, and it was yeah. three and a half thousand fans in a South Conference South game, which was close to what Cambridge were getting at the time. Mm. So it was obviously a really good exposure for me. And you know, it, was, it was it was good good experience to try something new. Obviously, yeah. I've been at Cambridge since I was eight, and I've been around the same people all the time. So yeah, it was good. So, I was just thinking now, when you were at Cajun, I mean, you'd have played Bra Braintree in the National League, wouldn't you, those times? Yeah, I didn't play Braintree in that month, but um, yeah, I, think, I imagine Braintree, I don't know if they were in the conference at the time or not, I can't remember. But yeah, about 2012 to about 2016, 17, I mean, the conference. Mm, so. Yeah, I think they might have been in the South then, but yeah, I think I didn't get a chance to play Braintree then. Because I always remember there was a those are the bigger crowds down here. When I mean Cambridge came down, we used to get a thousand oh, really, yeah. in here. Yeah, I remember playing Braintree once in a pre-season game, but obviously that was a long while, long while ago. Not not as many then, but yeah, I do remember the you know coming back here when I played. Right, so that was good. Um, now you went to Southend. Yeah, I said. 
What was it like going, going there? Yeah. How did that come about in the first place? Well, after you'd be released, was it yeah, so clubs I'd, around? Or? Well, I had, after my, so obviously I, the year we got promoted from, with Cambridge, towards the end of the season I had double hip surgery. So right. during all the, you know, the promotion times, back end of the season I was, you know, doing rehab and having an operation on both of them. And then, you know, I was still rehabbing in the end of the season. And then obviously when I went alone to Weymouth, I knew my contract with Cambridge coming to an end because I only signed six months. Mm -hmm. um, Weymouth was uh, an opportunity. They, they said they wanted to sign me to the end of the season. Um, I was all packed and ready to go sign for Weymouth. And then I got a call from my agent saying that Southend wanted to meet me like the next day or something like that. Oh. So um, I had to leave everything, go meet, go meet with Kevin Mayer, the manager of Southend. And then, yeah, yeah progressed like two, a week, two weeks later, maybe a week later, and then I'm signing, yeah. So during all your time so far, who's been your best manager or coach? Like, who's helped progress, do you think? Best manager. It's hard because obviously Mark Bonner is obviously the Cambridge manager and he was obviously my youth team coach. Yeah. And obviously around me when I was growing up, like 12 onwards. However, um, things didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. So in terms of best manager I've had, I'd probably say Derry just for the opportunity he gave yeah. me at such a young age. And, you know, throwing me on the pitch and starting me in games at like 17 years old. Yeah. It was just... You know, it takes a lot for someone to do that and have yeah. a lot of trust in you to do that as well, so. Mm, good. So then how did you end up here? <laughs> um, yeah, it was, to be honest, it was a surprise I didn't stay at South End. I was expecting to. I'd played, you know, the last bit of the season. Yeah. You know, we, we had a good spell. We went like 13 unbeaten and I was involved in them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And then, you know, obviously football's a cutthroat industry and you know, they said that there's nothing there for me and I ended up, you know, agents on the phone to loads of teams trying to put me in and stuff like that and um, yeah, I got a, got a call. I went to Gillingham for a few days yeah. and then my agent told me that Brain wanted me so yeah, I came in and yeah, just progressed. And it wasn't your best start because you came on as a sub and went off about five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I was just going to lock his door and let him go. Don't lock his in, Matt. Don't lock his in. Don't lock his in. Don't lock his in. Yeah, it's so the first game of the season on Dulwich away, wasn't it? And it was like 20, 30 minutes left. I went up for a header and felt my, my, um, my groin go. Right. And then from then it was. It was tough to, I couldn't, I, I wasn't adjusting well to semi-pro right. in terms of twice a week training and work as yeah. well. Whereas obviously since whatever, 16, I'd been full time mm. in tra training four days a week. So I was finding it tough, um, but was able to get some good advice from physios here and ex-physios and stuff like that. And um, yeah, since then it's been, it's been good to be fair physically. Yeah. yeah. I've really enjoyed my time here. Because you seem to... Played in numerous positions as well. Yeah. Quite, and most of the squad are quite flexible where they can fit in. But yeah. Where yeah. do you prefer playing? It's hard, I don't know. I actually don't know because when I'm playing centre mid, if you'd have asked me when I was playing centre mid, I would have said there. Yeah. You now you ask me when I'm playing centre back, I'd say here. Um, so it's, it's a tough one. I don't, I don't really mind too much things I'm playing really, but um, you know, I, I'm, I'm enjoying centre back at the minute in a, in a back three. I yeah. think as a two, I'd probably, I'd probably struggle a bit. In terms of physicality, but um, since I like to you know get on the ball and play, I think on the side of a back three definitely suits me well. Yeah, and um, obviously it's more or less a new team again this season, apart from Alfie and, and Kyron. Um, have you found it with the cup lads? There seems to be a strong bond between you all. Yeah, I've, I've said to a few lads and, and family and friends and stuff. It's definitely without doubt the best group I've been a part of right. in terms of personality and and. Um, you know, the way we are together, we all know what we want to achieve as well. So, you know, if things don't go well, we're not all on each other. There's no bad eggs in the team whatsoever. So, um, it's an enjoyable environment to come into. Yeah. Um, you know, you've had a long day at work. It's, it's not the end of the world because you know you're going to come see all your boys. It's like playing with your mates, really, is what yeah. it feels like. And it's different because I only knew uh, Rushy and John White before right. I came here. But it feels like with these lads, I've known them for a while. So. So how valuable has John been in the team? You know? Oh yeah, very, very valuable. He's a very good leader. He's a presence. He's obviously had a great career as well. So 
you know, the way he is with us. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of respect for him for what he's done. You know, he leads the team well. He um, demands a lot of us as well. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's a great captain. Right. Um, we're unbeaten at home. Yeah. And we got away without Darfur coming and taking three mm. points off us. I think yeah. FC is going to be the biggest one, but do you think we can continue that? It does feel like that. It really does. I've, I've said to people, it, it just feels like there's, there's something different at home. It's like people, teams come here, it just feels like whoever comes here isn't going to walk away with anything more than a point. So yeah. that's a good foundation to have. If you're going to be really solid at home and then pick up the points here and there away from home, you're obviously then going to have a successful season. So yeah, I mean, when Esfleet come, we'll be ready for him just like it was Dartford as well. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's going well for us here at the minute. Yeah. Okay. And then and also we've got the inside a bit next week, we've got the uh, Essex Senior Cup. I mean, it's not been a lot of stall something like before at this club, but mm. uh, What's what Sanzo's thinking? Well, that's going to be another tough game, um, especially on Saturday, Monday, isn't it? So, mm. you know, we're going to have to make sure after the weekend that we can try and get the win there and then recover well. We're only another day, and then obviously we played Chelsea away on Boxing Day and didn't, didn't come away with anything. So, you know, we owe him one as well. So it'll be it'll be a good game, especially to play in a in the semi final. No matter what it is, it's always important for the club you're at. Um, yeah. We want to win something this year, so we'll um, we'll be ready for it. And just for yourself, what's your personal hopes from being, you know, at this club? Are you looking to push on again now and get back in the football league? Or? Um, I'm just sort of taking it, you know, one step at a time. I've not. I found it tough mentally playing, uh, you know, with things I deal dealt with um, as a pro. So I found this a little, a lot more. Um, I don't know, relaxing is not the right word because no one wants to relax when they're playing, but in terms of the way I've adjusted to it, I quite quite enjoy it. So, yeah. you know, I'm not dismissing anything. I'm not saying I'd do this or do that, but what, the way I am now, it, I'm happy right now. So, Great. yeah, just yeah. see how it goes. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you.